now this is the third clip here i'm going to just continue for where i stopped in the second clip now you, you want to send a message to people okay first of all let's take a look at what the, what the interface offers okay so basically this is what we have it's going to show the um the space provided for the body of the message in a few seconds i just want you to see that maybe i should just leave that we'll come back to it later the first thing we need to do is bring in so okay that that's it you can see it's a busy week interface you have all the same icons you would normally have on virtually any on the other busy week interface you scroll down to the bottom it automatically does the unsubscribe and all the other stuff but basically you need first of all to set up the people who are going to receive messages from you so let's go there um, we're going to import um, well, we let's assume we don't have okay let's assume we don't have a mailing list let's have we don't, we don't have many people or in my case let me just do this as a demonstration oh no well okay i'll do one as a demonstration just in case you have to do it so i'm going to add my other email address that one is the user confirmed you say yes that's by saying one okay um and just you've got to have a mailing list okay so that's another thing um okay so okay well let's just let's just save this we've put this guy in let's save let's save this person okay so that user detail has been saved now i've got to create a mailing list okay so let's go and do that that's it, it's going to be a, f a name okay give it a name let's say for instance let's say this is an alumni association let's say it's uh, tks university alumni okay so all the alumni would have given you their email addresses click this checkbox to make it active immediately click save you could put a description here but i won't spend time doing that now we've got that now we've got to add members to this list okay so let's go here click users okay oh and we're going to let's let's do manage users so we can um, take more than one let's say we're going to import users okay i'll quickly just open notepad and just type like three emails after your at xyz.com let's go info at tksola.com let's say femi at spontaneous development.com tayo dot shalabadi okay now tayo at yahoo.com let's save these let's see you just have all email addresses make sure there are one email address on a row let's say emails alumni okay just save it preferably maybe on desktop where you can easily find it okay when you've done that import mails just use the first option you, you notice i've used notepad so keep that in mind you can see it's offering me the option of deciding which mailing list i want to import data into the important file email addresses into so i go to the desktop and look for the one I emailed alumni. So I click open, and that's basically it. I don't bother with any of the other options. Um, you you will towards the bottom of this option interface. Just say make confirmed immediately, and then click import. And this will allow you to bring in even if you have a thousand, it wouldn't matter. Okay. Now you can see what it's telling me here. Cannot find column with email. Please make column. Make sure the column with email. So the in in that document I just created, I'm going to have to open it again. I needed to have put in a heading okay which i forgot to do so just put a space then email okay did it say email or email okay so email so I just click save and i say yes okay i'm going to repeat that process now manage users okay import users there click import on the very first option reset import session click continue because it was we had an error before so I just do go through the process of choosing the same file again. Okay. And this can happen to you, so that's why I'm taking you through all of this. Okay, and then click import. Okay, four emails. So let's see if we can take a look at those emails. So we'll go to the list. Okay. And it says four members if you notice that. View members. If you do that it should show you the names that's it so we have all these people who, who are confirmed in this now you go back to users you see that we actually have one more person who's on the list but he's not yet attached to any particular mailing list so we could do open click on name and then at the bottom you can actually say okay i want this person subscribed to tks university alumni 
okay now you've got five people on your mailing list if we go back to the list again okay you can see it shows five members i'm going to stop here because the next clip is going to demonstrate